started uh, just kind of as a like passing stuff um, back and forth through email with never really having like the, the intention to be a band. We didn't even know each other at the time. I was making like hip hop music and he was doing like a whole different thing with rock music and he, he got a chance to hear one of my like solo albums and just liked it a lot and I sent I just started sending him like uh, just instrumental uh, beats. It's almost like I was married to another band and I found this hot chick that kind of took me away from her. <laughs> one of our our friends that's in a band in San Francisco was uh, was asking us to play live for the first time, opening for them, and it was such a good opportunity that we just like said, all right, let's give it a shot and see what happens. And then I specifically remember the moment of like looking back at him and, and like just thinking about how all these people were singing along with the songs and we've never even put out an album or anything. I think our like second show, we were in front of like 5,000 people or something like that. Or my second show, personally, like on stage. I've never been on stage before and like, that was, that was a crazy thing. So like seeing that was like, okay, we gotta take this to the next level and evolve and do. Yeah, he and got kind of thrown into it. I got thrown into it. The song that really first started to kind of get attention was Very Busy People. And that was, I'd say that was the first song we ever wrote that had like an upbeat feel. Everything else is kind of downtrodden and slow. And then we did that demo and, and um, Radio stations and satellite radio people started picking up on it, and it was it was kind of weird because it. I mean, not not that we didn't want to take it seriously, but instead of taking it seriously and then trying to get other people to take us seriously, it was more like we were we were kind of thrown into it, you know, because of that song. We 